Hey everyone, it's Sandra. Welcome back to my channel. I'm freezing and appropriately so we're gonna do the It's Finally Fall book tag. Now I was tagged by Kat from Kat's Stories and I don't usually do tags but since I was tagged I thought I would jump on in to this lovely tag. All of the prompts are fall related and I choose a book for each of them. So let's do it. I have physical books for all of them, except for the first one. The first one is, Aww. the air is crisp and clear. What's a book with a vivid setting? And the two that come to my mind are Wondersmith. I just feel like I can still picture the setting of this book in my mind. So I think that's pretty vivid if I can still remember it from like a year later. And also Caraval. I really, 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 really want to read Legendary. It's just so beautifully written and vivid, and I just, I love it. I cannot believe it took me this long to read it, because I don't usually love super popular books, and that one's a popular book, but guys, the way that that book is written is just so magical in the best way. Like it's just beautifully written, intriguing, flowy. Like I don't know how to explain it. If you know, you know. And if you don't know, you've got to find out. You've got to read it. Let's get into the books that I have sitting right next to me that you can't see because I obviously want to keep the element of surprise. Let's get into it. Nature is beautiful but also dying. A book that's beautiful but also deals with loss or grief. Now, this one did not necessarily deal with loss and grief, but it sort of did. It sort of did. It dealt a lot with suffering and sadness or sorrow, maybe it was. But for me, it was very comforting in loss and grief. And it is none other than Heinz Feet on High Places. If you saw my reading vlog of this that went out about a week and a half ago, you know how much I loved this. This book is amazing. I don't know how I lived without it. Although, to be fair, if I had read it six months ago, it would not have meant to me what it does now. So, I'm so grateful to have read this at this point in my life. Uh, but I still do recommend everyone read it. It is a beautiful allegory of the Christian life. It's very similar to Pilgrim's Progress, but just like, you know, 400 centuries later and very relatable, poetic, yet practical. It's just a beautiful story. I'm not really a poetry girl. I'm not really into all that. It just is hard for me to connect with poetry sometimes. But the poeticness of this is just enough to make it beautiful and not too much that it's not practical. So I love this. Next prompt. Fall is back to school season. What is a nonfiction that has taught you something new? And I feel like it's just absolutely incomparable. Well, there are two. The one that I chose is... The Immeasurably More book study on the book of Ephesians. It's a Bible study and this is my second time going through it but my first really focusing on making sure I do all of it um, and I have learned so much about the Bible that I never even noticed for my entire life of reading it. So I cannot recommend this enough. If you go, I believe it's it has its own website. It's from my church, but it has its own website. If you go search immeasurably more, I think you can still get this book. Definitely look into it because it's amazing. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. And look how pretty it is. It's beautiful physically, but it is so rich with information. Anyway, I've learned so much from this and I highly recommend it to absolutely everybody. Love it so much. And I read a portion or work on a portion of this every single day. And that's where I am right now. Okay, the next prompt. In order to keep warm, it's good to spend time with people we love. What is a book with a fictional family or friend group you'd like to be a part of? I only brought three, so. Got a few options here. 
you know, just would love to be part of all of these groups. The first, of course, is Pride and Prejudice. How fun would that be, like, to hang out with these guys? The craziness that ensues, the ridiculousness. Would you not just want to hang out with them? That would be so fun. Have to choose that one. Then, of course, we have Runaway Max from Stranger Things. Now, do I want to be chased by monsters? Not really. But how fun would it be to hang out with Max and all the kids? That would be so fun. And then this third one is one that's not really super popular, but I loved the friends in this book. It's Salt and Sugar. This is one of the first books that I read this year. And they were just like baking and cooking and just like found family. And I loved it. These high schoolers just like trying to save their family's restaurant or bakery. What was it? I think, yeah, they're both bakeries. How fun. It was just like a bunch of teenagers. It gives High School Musical vibes a little bit. Um, and I think they might have mentioned High School Musical in this book, if I remember correctly. But either way, this book is so fun. You definitely got to check it out. I, this is one of my favorites of the year. Spoiler alert. So, salt and sugar. Next prompt is colorful leaves are piling on the ground. What are some colorful book spines? So I have a little stack, just a small one, just, you know, six books. It's not the most fall vibes, but I tried to include all of the colors like yellow, orange, white, green, brown, and black. This is what I came up with. So first we've got, this is a very fall cover actually, I feel like. Seven Mile Miracle, I just picked this one up at a used bookstore. And that is the book related to the series that was first going on when I got involved with my church years and years ago. Then we've got Girl Meets Change. This book. If you are dealing with any kind of change, you've got to read this. It's fantastic. I have not read this yet. I've also not read this yet. Actually, I don't think I've read any of these other. No, I've read Excellent Twins. Okay. Then we've got this really depressing sounding book, but it had a kind of fall cover a little bit. It looks more fall in person. Maybe this wasn't the best pick. That's all about dealing with when your loved ones have memory care issues, which is kind of depressing, but that was an old school book. Anyway, then we have Recursion. I've still not read this, although it's been on my unofficial TBR for the last two months. Maybe we'll get to it. Then we've got Excellence Wins. Love this book, highly recommend it. Definitely one of the best books ever. And then another book I've not yet gotten to read, The Innovation Killer. Next prompt is Fall is the Perfect Time for Storytelling by the Fireside. I chose The Bridge by Karen Kingsbury, which is basically the story of these people wanting to save their bookstore? No. Coffee shop with bookshelves. And like just this coffee shop where people can get books and have good conversations and all that stuff. And it's kind of like the story of how that got started. And so that's why I chose this for this prompt. And it was close to storytelling somehow. Nights are getting darker. A dark or scary read. I don't really have any right now. I guess I could have chosen that one, but it's fine. I chose one that I'm eager to get back into for the video that I'm working on at the moment that hopefully will have gone up before you see this. Fingers crossed, although I have three more books still to read for it. But I've got The End of the Age, and this one is a fiction book based on biblical prophecy. So an element of truth to it, but also written in a fiction way. It's, it's intense. So then we have The Days Are Getting Colder. What is a short, heartwarming read? It doesn't get cuter than this. This book was so cute. The next prompt is Fall Returns Every Year. What is an old favorite you'd like to return to soon? Obviously, this handwritten copies 
edition of Persuasion. I loved this the first time and I would love to get back into it and reread it at some point soon. Probably not gonna happen soon, but in my dreams it would. So there's that. Final question, fall is perfect. Fall is the perfect time for cozy reading nights. What are your favorite reading accessories? My fleece snuggie. It's not really a snuggie, but it's like a blanket with sleeves somewhere the sleeves are. Definitely have to have this and Never seen any clips with my um, twinkle. They're not twinkle lights. They're just like white lights, white string lights gotta have those. Those are my favorite reading accessories and also this light. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Give this video a thumbs up and comment down below. Let me know if you've done this tag or if you're gonna do this tag so I can go watch it. And on that note, I will talk to you all next time. Bye!